revealed, the reason why Prince Charles may never become King Charles. Prince Charles may never become King Charles according to royal precedence as the heir to the throne could choose to succeed the Queen under a different name. Although Charles' future title has not been officially announced and it is not likely to be confirmed until the time of Charles's coronation, the Prince of Wales could choose not to become King Charles. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams tells Express.co.uk that the custom of a monarch choosing his or her name upon succession to the throne, also known as original title, dates back to ancient times. Queen Victoria, who was christened Alexandrina Victoria, took the throne under her second name in 1837. And Victoria's son Prince Albert Edward when he became king in 1901 took the regnal name Edward VII, as he did not wish to diminish the status of his further Prince Albert. The current Queen's further also chose to take the throne as King George VI rather than as King Albert following the abdication of his brother. His full name was Albert Frederick Arthur George and like Edward VII and Victoria he used one of his middle names for his regnal title. According to royal precedence, Charles could choose one of his other names, Philip, Arthur or George, when he eventually succeeds the Queen. It has previously been suggested that Charles was seriously considering becoming King George VII, as the name Charles is tinged with so much sadness. King Charles I is the only British monarch to have executed following two English civil wars which sparked the brief republic called the Commonwealth of England under Oliver Cromwell from 1649 to 1660. His son Charles II reinstated the throne but had a bit of reputation as philandra because he had a string of mistresses, including the orange Selenel Gwyn. It is said that Charles II acknowledged at least twelve illegitimate children by various mistresses. And noticeably there has been no King Charles since the 1600s despite a string of Georges, Edwards, and Williams. However royal commentator Mr Fitzwilliams believes Charles may choose to reinvent the name King Charles with his own legacy. Mr. Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk the custom of the monarch choosing his name dates back to ancient times. Charles might, as Charles Philip Arthur George, choose George VII. It would be both a tribute to his grandfather and also to George III whom he admires. I don't know which he would choose but I would expect him to become King Charles III. It is true Charles I was executed but Charles II was welcomed back after Cromwell's death and libidinous monarch was popular and a wonderful contrast to Cromwell's puritanical commonwealth, the only time in over 1000 years of monarchy we've had a republic and, hopefully, the last. In 2005, two friends of the Charles claimed the Prince of Wales had been seriously considering using his fourth name George when he becomes king but this was quickly dismissed for Clarence House at the time. One said, There have been many conversations with the Prince about this. It is an assumption among us all that it will happen. The name Charles is tinged with so much sadness. Another source added, The royal family will decide at the time, but he has talked about George. However, another friend quickly dismissed the claims, adding, Anyone who knows the Prince of Wales knows he does not sit around talking to his chums, discussing what he wants to be called. A Clarence House spokesman said that there had been long-term thinking about the coronation, but the possibility of changing the prospective regnal title had not been discussed officially. He said, One of the questions that we have asked is what he will be known as. The decision will be taken at the time. Speculation has also been mounting over whether the Duchess of Cornwall will become queen when her husband ascends to the throne. When the Prince of Wales married Camilla in 2005, it was announced she would be styled as Princess Consort when Charles becomes king. However, in March Charles fueled speculation he could try to make Camilla his queen after statements saying she will be styled Princess Consort were removed from the Clarence House website. The heir to the throne's office has deleted all reference to a statement made before the couple got married in 2005 when Charles indicated that when he became king his second wife would not use the normal title of queen consort out of deference to the memory of Princess Diana. Now, 13 years later, 
the couple's revamped website has removed any reference to the undertaking in its official biography of Camilla, 70, and in its frequently asked questions section. Buckingham Palace's website also appears to have removed the reference in its profile of Prince Charles' wife. Clarence House officials insist the statement was removed in 2015 because the public was no longer interested in the issue. One aide said, this question was taken off the FAQs a few years ago as it was a relevant question when their royal highnesses got married but isn't frequently asked by the public anymore, only by the media, by the media.